Welcome to Arlo, Exercise 5. I'll be playing the role of the student this time. Kat will be instructing. So, what do we got? So, we are going to be in his mind of third. As the instructor, I'm going to coupe and attack his upper arm. Owie! He would like me to not do that. So, as I am pulling back to do that and aiming at his upper arm, he is going to stop at me with the true or the false edge on my inner arm. Ready? Ready? Just like that. Doesn't it feel safer if I could run away while I do that? Huh, I wonder what happens if you try to run away while you do that. Huh. I know, Arlo doesn't specify the footwork for this. It's true, and when Arlo doesn't specify the footwork, it's usually because he wants you to stay still. <sighs> so what happens if he tries to run away? It's not great. No, if you extend it, I actually got hit there. So if he runs away, we double. At best. But if he doesn't run away, his stop hit absolutely stops mine in cold. <laughs> the second version of this is the instructor attacks on the charge. Again, Hungarian fencing terminology of the era, charge can be a step charge, that is an advanced lunge. It can also be a balestra lunge. The Hungarians used charge the same way we use car without distinguishing between hatchback and sedan. It can be either one, okay? The student's challenge is, I have to stay in the bind as I open up distance and then hit only at the moment where it's appropriate. We don't have the space and lighting in here with our blue norther hard lighting to make this work very well. So you're just gonna have to get an instructor, play with it, or if nothing else, shadow box a really good third to making that cut. False edge, true edge, still come out of the elbow. If you do this with the wrist, that blow is gonna come right in and gank you every time. You will not have the physical structure to stop that blow. What else should you look at? If you're working with a partner, take turns, switch roles. Also really take the time to practice those charges, especially the balestra lunge. It's a lot of fun and uh, it, takes some, it takes some working to get good at it. One other thing I'd like to add, if you're playing the role of the instructor, can you be the instructor for a second? This is the student's bind. The instructor is performing a suicidal action. Leaving this bind to engage in a coupe swing cut to here presumes that I have done something to waste a tempo. I've punched the block, I've done something where I've given her power and she can come around. Done statically, if you're the instructor and thinking, oh crap, I'm gonna get ganked. Yes, that's the whole point of this exercise is to teach the student to insta-punish that when people do it to them, okay? That means, as the instructor, you are going to have to practice giving a really good coupe swing from the elbow, just like your basic cutting exercises. Pop, pop, so they actually have something to swing at. If your forearms are tired of getting beat on, you may need to wear a heavy sleeve or a gauntlet or a cuff so they can whack your arm repeatedly without you going home going, Fire candy. I need fire <laughs> candy. <laughs> Tylenol. Tylenol. What else you got for this? Sort of um, adjacent to what you said about, yes, the point is you're doing a dumb and the other person is learning to punish the dumb thing. Drills are not bouts and bouts are not tournaments. When you're drilling, there's no winner, there's no loser, there's only learning. So be okay with taking those hits. Yes. Otherwise, you're a crap training partner, point yeah. blank. Anything else? That's it. All right, thanks for teaching me. Thank you, you're welcome.
Ooh, balance pin. Actually. Hope you don't have downstairs neighbors. Mm-hmm. Try your coupe swing while doing it. Because that's what the instructor is going to have to do. I would probably... Mm-hmm. But remember, you're coming off their bind of third. Yeah, blade angle's different. gathering of your legs together and the bending of your elbow to make the coupe swing. Up. Bump. Bump. Isn't that more powerful? Yeah. Yeah, do that a couple times. See what that's like. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> I know, we don't have enough space. This, is, really not like, this is not an adequate training hall space. I'm afraid to bash through the window like a Kool-Aid man. One day we'll get a really cool space with mirrors and stuff so you can actually check your form. Okay. Yeah. It's terrible, but. But you see how all of a sudden you're all curled up and ready to explode. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, it goes from why the hell would I ever do this to, oh, this is actually dangerous. Cool. Thanks for demonstrating. while she does a fraggle dance on camera. You know you like it. We've got more videos and content coming, so if you liked what you saw and it was useful for you, please stab the like button, slash subscribe, and punch the little bell icon so that you're notified immediately when new content comes available. Thanks, and go do the thing.